against Paris Saint-Germain. It's a privilege to be here at the Stade Vélodrome. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a good game, but this has to be one of the most atmospheric grounds in Europe at the moment. And just listen to the noise here today. But can Marseille get a result against this brilliant PSG team? And the match begins. And this is the lineup for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Valentin Rongier plays. Lionel Messi! An early goal. It is the ideal opening. And Marseille get the ball rolling once more. How will they react after conceding? Jonathan Close. Payet moving it forward, but really sticking to their task defensively. And Marseille could be onto something. Payet. Now Sanchez, with a textbook interception. Mbappe, chances on. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Now, how about the short corner? Makes the move to the inside. Takes the shot. Keeper getting the touch. And in the end, no damage done. Not a great pass. Alexis Sanchez. Now with Messi, attacking possibilities for PSG, and Neymar, and the flag does go up, must have been close. Out of play, Marseille throw in. Tavares. Sanchez. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Leonardo Balerdi. Matteo Guendouzi. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. And fed forwards. <laughs> Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Marseille will get the throw in. Could play it in. 
Payet. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Alexis Sanchez. Gendouzi. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Payet delivering, but he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Payet. Alexis Sanchez. Bad pass. Payet. Breaking at pace. Can he find the net? gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back and then it's a wonderful strike from Messi he hits it with such power such pace and great accuracy what a goal that is So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Valentin Rongier. And on to Gigo. And he might be through here. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, no damage done. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. Well, still an issue here. Payet. On to Veritou. Real chance. Terrific piece of anticipation. Alexis Sanchez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, they're counting... Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Better two. It's a very bright-looking attack, continued by Payet. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Well, they couldn't keep it. Messi. Vitor Ferreira. Interception to snuff out the danger. Can they hit on the break? Well, that is how to play advantage. Rogier. Gentusi. On to Rogier. Firing it in. Not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Putting it wide from there, a pity really. Well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. And they will make the change now. Oh, great vision. Poor attempt at a pass, really. 
Malinowski. Alexis Sanchez. Can he finish? And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, Marseille might still be trailing here, but this game is very much alive as a contest once more. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Opportunity it is. Vertu. And no more time left. We've reached the halfway mark here at the Orange Vélodrome. Well, making noise on the pitch in the first half, Dimitri Payet. Interested to get your... So underway in the second half, it's PSG in front, but a long way from being done and dusted. Neymar, and he's through here. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Fired in by Neymar. Well, last line of defence, literally. It did look on for them, but not to be. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Lovely ball over the top. Veritou. Well, it was a superb counter-attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build-up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Well, they've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve, and quickly. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Well, they fancy a short one. Soler, well read to ease the pressure. And Neymar! Fabian! Can he make it count? Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. They take it short. Neymar! Now with Verratti, Mbappe, Marquinhos, opportunity here, oh a tremendous block, on the corner for Paris Saint-Germain, what can they do with it? And played short. Marquinhos. And saved by the keeper.
And short it is. He's got to score! Oh, that is a superb save. Very true. Good use of advantage by the referee. Better two. This could be the equaliser. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Breaking at pace. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Oh, in with a chance! Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. And a short corner, let's see. The corner kicks keep on coming. Favouring the short one. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Can he get them level? Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Cengiz Under. Cengiz Under. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Payet delivering. Applying vigorous pressure. Sanchez. Can he do it? Magnificent stuff, and quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Back underway, dead level, 2-2. Two -two. There's 20 minutes remaining now. Alexis Sanchez. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Payet. Just cutting off the supply. Tremendous ball played through, and still a chance. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about their stellar keeper. They know that. And unable to keep possession. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Well, the keeper had to concentrate. deliver it with accuracy relatively straightforward to mop up defensively and Neymar and he read it well defensively Genghis Under 
Well, they could run onto it here. Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. And deciding to go short with this one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Taken short. Messi. Super goalkeeping in such a tight game. Well, he's just kept them in this. Brilliant goalkeeping, that is. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And they're going for the short one. Lionel Messi. On to Verratti. And reading it absolutely superbly. Breaking at pace. Delightful pass. Payet. Genghis Under. It's in. And this really takes your breath away. A comeback of a half. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Five minutes to go. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And the second half drawing to a close as Marseille try to get the job done here. Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why this will be a nervy finish. They just need to hold on here. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Malinowski. And that's an important intervention. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of... This could level it! But denied by the keeper, and at this late stage in the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Verratti... Kimpembe, return to Verratti. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Mbemba. And playing it to the goalkeeper. Mbappe. And here he is, Lionel Messi. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping.
Fired in by Neymar. The final whistle and many reasons for Marseille fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition and that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he was a real hand.